to pack. Yeah. What is I it, Pete? Found it. Found what, uh, partner? Come here and look. I don't even know this Sanchez. All right, boy, boy, you come in here. Now, in English, just how much dynamite was it you stole? What good would it be to tell you that I've never seen any Poor dynamite? Poor Rudy Lineker. He did all he could to keep you away from his daughter, but she stands to inherit a million bucks, so naturally you just moved in here. Marsh and I were married yeah. secretly. A million bucks. Ain't no secret about that. You got scared he'd change his will. Why don't you let up for so a minute? you got yourself this highway you job. You broke into the explosives bin and stole That's it. a lie! Oh, ten sticks of dynamite! No! No! <laughs> Well, Hank has done it again. He's nailed his man. Thanks to you, partner. Me, yeah. sir? <laughs> if that dynamite had been a snake there in the bathroom, it would have bitten me. Well, I it was Chief Gould that I'd keep you informed, Vargas, so I'm doing it. This is it. We've broken the case. Rudy Lineker was uh, blown up with eight sticks of dynamite, and uh, Sanchez stole ten. That leaves two, and we found them both. You heard that, boy. We found the dynamite. That's impossible. Well, we found two sticks. Like that's Fox, the yeah, right that's number. Right Where did brand. you find this? They're right here in your love net. Where? Well, you had it stashed, of course. What are you trying to do? We're well, trying to strap you to the electric chair. Boy. We don't like it when innocent people are blown to jelly in our town. There's an old lady on Main Street last night picked up a shoe. The shoe had a foot in it. We're going to make you pay for that mess. <laughs> They're trying to railroad me. Yeah. I don't know why. I never stole any dynamite. So you know, sente. Lo juro que soy You'll have to stop him yourself. Lo juro no, and he can talk de Hindu de for all the good tumba de de mi madre. He swears on his mother's grave that there has never been any dynamite in this apartment. Sure, sure. Take him and book him. Let's go. You say you found this dynamite yeah. in the bathroom. Well, Pete found it to show him the dynamite, right Pete. Can't you do something to help me? What are you scared of, partner? That stuff isn't nearly as easy to blow up as people seem to think. It doesn't go off quite that easy. You found the dynamite in this box? Dynamite? Yeah. Pete found it. Told you that. Captain. Yeah? I looked in that box. Just now, there wasn't anything there. I know how you feel. Do you? Sure, I do. You people are touchy. It's only human you'd want to come to the defense of your fellow countrymen. Vargas. Vargas, don't worry. Why should I worry? Uh, you go right ahead and say anything you want to. Folks will bear your natural prejudice in mind. I saw that shoebox ten minutes ago, yeah, Captain. Yeah, well, maybe you didn't notice. I knocked it over on the bathroom floor. I couldn't very well have failed to notice two sticks of dynamite. Tell any story you want. The shoebox was empty. Go on saying it's empty. Folks will understand. I'm saying more than that, Captain. You framed that boy. Framed him! What's the matter with him, Hank? Is he, is he crazy? Yeah, that must be Ed crazy. Hank, what are we going to do with this Grandy guy? Take him in? Grandy? I, uh, I think you ought to realize, Quinlan, that when a man of Vargas' position is willing to testify... Who are you working for, the Mexican government? I'm working for the district attorney. Well, listen, I got a position in this town, a reputation. Who's Vargas? Vargas is kind of important, too, Hank. Uh, somebody's going to have to give in on this thing. Either that or somebody's going to be ruined. Captain Quinlan, what do you want? Schwartz, you saw that shoebox in the bathroom. You know it was empty. Well, now, I didn't happen to see it myself, but... but I believe you. 